everybody. Um, this is a video where I'm going to talk about likes and dislikes. The whole thing we have on YouTube where we either give a video the thumbs up or the thumbs down. And we can now do it with comments as well. And I'm trying to sort of figure out what they actually tell us, really. Uh, when we look at a video and we see how many likes it has and how many dislikes it has, what it really tells us about that video or about the person who uploaded it or about anyone who may have watched it or the type of people who might have watched it or anyone they mention in the video, if it's a drama type video. Um, now as I understand it, um, YouTube comments used to be, well YouTube, YouTube videos used to be star rated and for some reason they changed to a thumbs up thumbs down system. I don't know why they did that, um, but they did. Uh, I probably would, would have preferred that, I think. I think in some videos I watch and I think that was brilliant. There's other videos I watch and I think that was garbage. And there's other videos I watch where I think, hmm, there's some good points there, some terrible points. And I think maybe two or three stars might be what I'd want to give those videos. But I've also noticed that um, a lot of videos have a lot more views than they have either likes or dislikes. So they may have however many, like, may have, say, 50 likes, maybe 40 dislikes, but then they have, like, maybe a couple hundred views. So it suggests to me a lot of people who watch videos don't really bother giving them the thumbs up or the thumbs down. It's just not something they can be bothered doing. Um, but I was thinking about a few videos and a few different users. Because um, I watched, uh, I remember Healthy Addict did a video a while ago, um, well, not long ago, where she talked about her sexual harassment experience at an atheist conference, I think it was at TAM, and because, you know, she was daring to speak out about sexual harassment, she got probably more thumbs down than her videos normally would have got, you know, um, because, let's face it, there is a lot of misogyny on YouTube. Um, and then, of course, she did a video against Thunderfoot, where she directly called him out on his bullshit about rape and you know even more thumbs down on that than we would have expected. I think there were still more thumbs up than thumbs down, but I think questioning the all questioning the almighty Thunderfoot gets you um is a recipe for getting more thumbs down than you might normally. But I also noticed she did a video um would have been quite even further back where she called Richard Dawkins out for making some rather silly remarks about child abuse. And, yeah, that got a lot lot more thumbs down than thumbs up. Uh, because, again, you know, if there's one thing worse than questioning the almighty Thunderfoot, questioning the almighty Dawkins, <laughs> you know, that's just unheard of in the kind of YouTube fedora community. Um, but, yeah, moving on. Um, notably, uh, Jacqueline Glenn, I remember a while ago she did uh, a video where she was trying to hock an, an iPhone app. <laughs> on her channel, which was a really bad idea on her part, uh, because it actually got, even for someone with, I think she had about 80,000 subscribers at the time, she got a lot of down thumbs on that video. Now, TJ, the, the Amazing Atheist, he's done something similar, he's done videos where he's hocked I iPhone apps for money, um, and he had the foresight to disable ratings on, on that video, I think, before anyone saw it, because I think he knew that even a, a number of his subscribers would probably have down thumbed it. Um, and so this is um, something that bothers me a bit here is that these people are you know these people normally will have their, um, their rating, the ratings open you know you can you can thumb up or thumb down their videos but then suddenly if they know people aren't going to like their videos they will uh, disable ratings because Jacqueline, of course, recently did a couple of videos uh, toward a Muslim, and I watched I watched one of them because uh, Ryan Wiley drew attention to. I've watched two of them actually. He, he drew atten my attention to them. Um, I haven't been subscribed to Jacqueline for a while, and I had a look, and I noticed she's disabled ratings on one of them, presumably because she was getting a lot of down thumbs from Muslims or or whoever else. I d that it bothers me that, and I'll tell you why it bothers me. Uh, it wouldn't bother me if she just had ratings disabled on all her videos. If she was just someone who said, "I'm not, I don't care about ratings, not bothered about them," or she says, "I don't really want to be, you know, to wear lots of up thumbs. I don't want to wear that like it's some kind of badge of honour. I don't want to sort of show off." At the same time, I don't want people's opinions to be swayed if there's 
too many dislikes. I can understand why some people might just disable ratings, and I've got a couple of friends on YouTube who do that. Uh, I don't know if that's why. Um, I don't. You know, I'm not really sure why, because these aren't people who engage in arguments with people ordinarily or anything like that. These people aren't. They don't get involved in drama. They just sometimes put up creative work. But for some reason, they, they think they just don't want to get involved in the whole popularity contest with thumbs up, thumbs down. But what bothers me here is people is people like Jacqueline Glenn and the Amazing Atheist. Is they they're very happy to show you how popular some of their videos are, but they're not willing to balance that out by showing you how unpopular some of them are. Because if you if you know if you want to brag about how popular some of your videos are, I think it's only reasonable you show people the other side of it and show some of your videos are actually kind of unpopular uh, with whoever. It just seems to me to be it bothers me that it bothers me. I mean, I've got most of my videos. I think I've got more likes than dislikes, but um, a couple of them, you know, they, they haven't. I mean, ones I've done against Pat Condell, uh, when his fans discover those videos, they give it a good down for me. But I kind of expected it, you know. Um, it's it's not something you know that's that I'm going to let it bother me because who cares really? It just means uh, a load of people who didn't like the video found it. Um, I think if you've got loads and loads of subs, chances are that even if your video is controversial or even if it's going up against someone more popular than you are, the chances are you're going to get a fair number of upvotes on it. Uh, but obviously it's not always the case, as I mentioned earlier with the, the healthy addict examples. Um, but that, I think that's just the, the way it goes, really. But again, again with Jacqueline Glenn, or even though she had about 80,000 subscribers at the time, um, the fact she was trying to uh, hawk an iPhone app to a lot of her subscribers, I think pissed off enough people, must, some of them who must have been her subs, uh, that they were going to give it a down thumbing, even if they weren't going to unsubscribe like I did. Um, they were still going to you know, make it known that they hated being treated like cattle like this. And, yeah, I did as well a, a video against The Amazing Atheist, or more aptly against uh, Not Productive, a while ago. And I honestly thought, you know, because I'd posted it as a response to the Not Productive trailer, um, I thought this is going to get a lot of down thumbs. When I uploaded it, I thought, yeah, this is going to get down thumbs afoot. Actually, it didn't. It got a few down thumbs from a few Amazing Atheist fanboys, but, that, no, it was mostly mostly thumbs up, which I was quite surprised about, and I even got a few new subs off it, which is pretty good. So that surprised me a bit. Uh, similar with ones I've done against Thunderfoot, I mean, those have had, you know, a couple of down thumbs and a few comments from a few Thunderfoot fanboys, but other than that, you know, mostly thumbs up, which is a bit strange, really. So, what does this all tell us? I don't know, I suppose it... I'm just trying to figure out what it really... T it tells us something about the... T uh, if a video has, say, a lot of thumbs up or a lot of thumbs down, it can tell us about the person who made the video, it can also tell us about who w watches their video, who watches that specific video, um, if they're addressing someone else in that video, it can tell us what kind of people like that person, and tell it, it can tell us how many of those people watch the video. Does it really tell us much at all though? I don't know. So I'd be interested in people's opinions on that. I, I, I want to know if, um, what you think, if you think that there's anything you can, anything of any significance you can read into how popular a video is, or how popular or how unpopular it is, uh, in terms of thumbs up and thumbs down. But anyway, let me know what you think.